Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. This one is called Therefore by Page2. I think there's a couple of puzzles here actually that uh, Page2 has made that are um, like singular words like adverbs or some sort of, uh, I can't think of the right word that I want to use there, but uh, they just kind of are a singular word that kind of sets into tone what's going on. So I think in this instance, what we're looking at is if these are X Therefore, these are Y type of the situations. Let's, I think that's what the, uh, the the labeling of this one is. So with that said, let's just kind of jump in this one, see what kind of rules we got, because there's not a ton of them. And we've kind of seen similar puzzles of this type of thing. But obviously, there's different interactions that are going to be occurring here. So therefore, by page two, normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Cells joined by an X sum to 10. Cells joined by a V sum to 5 normal xv clues these adding to 10 these add to 5 cells joined by a white dot are consecutive cells joined by a black dot one digit double the other normal crop keys so these guys will be consecutive these will be in a two to one ratio or as noted one will be double the other and then not all x's v's or dots are given so there's no negative constraint cool so with that said, let's just jump in this one. It's not supposed to be very difficult. It's just supposed to be a fun kind of process of going through what can and can't be. So let's get started on it. Links in the description below as always. All right, so where are we gonna start? Well, the obvious thing is these guys here, we've done this before, like I said, we have three sets of black crop keys in a contained region, meaning that the, the, the groupings must be a one, two, a four, eight, and a three, six, and the remaining digits will be five, sevens, and nines. Well, you can't put fives on an X, so that's a five, that's a five, and that's a five. These guys will all be from sevens and nines, which means these guys, therefore, these guys will be ones and threes. Therefore, these guys will be twos and sixes, and these guys will be fours and eights. Now that's perfect because we had that V clue sitting here. This is the four, this is the eight, that force is a one. Now, do we start thinking about this guy? Yeah, we do. Where does the nine go in this column? Because of this eight, it can't go in either of those two. So it goes here. And then these will be from two, three, and six, seven. Now you can't be seven, so you can't be six, you can't be three, you can't be two. Same thing is going to apply here. Let's get those in. Now, what does that tell us? The twos and sixes, say these are fours and eights. Do we continue up this line? I don't think we actually can there, though, because this four, well, the four says it has to be a five, but the eight could be seven or nine. I guess that eh, doesn't really tell us much, does it? Okay, let's try to find something else we can work with then. What does any of this other information tell us? Can we start getting into some of these groupings of crop keys similar like we did here? Okay, yeah, where does the nine go in this column now? Because we have this nine, it could have been either one of these two. It obviously can't be on these guys, but now it can't be here. So you are a nine. Do we have the same thing we do now? Where does the nine go in this column? Can't go in any of these positions, so it's gonna go here. Again, it could have been here and here until we put this nine in. Good. Now, what does that tell us? Sevens. I guess it tells us one of these is going to be a seven. Not you, because you have to pair with an... Well, I guess you don't have to pair with the... the I was going to say the 8, but I guess there's there's more leeway there. Let's think maybe further about these columns, because maybe there's something another digit that's just removed from options. There actually isn't. Unless maybe the, the crossing 1s and 3s. Let's just put these in and, and think about them. Because we could do 1, 2, 2, 3, or 6, 7. Now, one of these two is going to be a 6, 7. And this will be the leftover of whatever is left over from the 1, 2, 3. And it won't be a 2. Because we know this the other 
crop key is going to either be the one, two, or the two, three. Now you can't be a one, three. You can't be a two or a seven, so you can't be a six. This type of little restructuring of these guys, you can't be seven, you can't be six, you can't be one or three, you can't be two. Now, I guess that doesn't really tell us as much as I hoped it would. We do get a 2-7 pair to go with our 1-3 here, though. But, all right, what about you? Is there anything more about this guy? Because maybe we have more of a crossing pattern here. Actually, we don't. And I don't know if we necessarily want to put all this stuff in again just to get a couple of um, pairs looking across the board that don't necessarily interact with anything just yet. Okay, let's find something else out. What about these three? That was going to be my next move because these have to be from one, three, and seven. Can we restore? Strict either of those primarily by the crop keys, I would think. This could be a one, because that could be a one, two, this could be a three, six. If this was a three, it would go with a four, because we couldn't do a two, three. Because that would break this. And if we did a seven, it would have to go with the six, because we can't use the eight. I think the exact same thing occurs over here, but this guy has some things over here we might be able to restrict. Is there any other influence that this grouping causes? Because if this is a 1, 2, let's say, this is the 3, 6, this is a 7, this is a 3, this is a 1, 2, that's a 9. If that's a 7, it's a 9. Okay, that didn't. I don't think tell me what I needed then. Okay, mm, next in line, something else. Let's find something else to work with. And what would that be? Again, I don't know if I want to dive into these guys, but maybe we have to do it because of the crossing. So let's do that. Um, we said we have ones, twos, threes, sixes, and sevens, right? Six, seven, yes. You're not one or three. You're not seven. You're not six. You're not two. You're not one or three. You're not two. You're not seven. You're not six. So that is a two, seven pair. Okay. So I guess what that really did was just say that one of these two is going to be the seven, which means one of these two is going to be a six. But again, I think that all works just fine. Okay, uh, let's see. We need some more therefores. We don't have enough of them right now. So where is the, the next little bit of info that's going to tell us where we can actually go? Do we start thinking about these guys? It seems like there's such a, a large number here. Well, I guess we do know that one of these two is a nine which means one of you two is an eight. Do you have anything else like that? One of you two is a nine, which means one of you two is an eight. Do the eights cut back in any way? Mm, I don't think so. What about ones in any way? I don't think we can rule out ones from any of these positions, though. Okay. One, three, fives, maybe? One of those three? One of those three? No, not necessarily. I guess we know one of these two is going to be a four. Again, that doesn't quite tell us a lot. Maybe there's more 
doing with... Nah, it doesn't seem like it would tell us too much because we don't have a whole lot of uh, restrictions looking at it. Okay, where the heck are we supposed to be looking? Let's figure this out. Do we can have to just go down these lines and see what's what? Because maybe there's something cutting across that does help us. Let's do it, I guess. You could be two. If it's a one, two. It would have to be a three, four. If it's a three, because again, we can't break this guy. And it would be a seven with a six. Two, four, six. <coughs> Excuse me. What are you? If it's a four, it goes to a five. If they're... Oh, that's what it is. The nine in this row. Didn't catch on to that one. Where do you put a nine? You have to put it here. Okay. That's perfect. That gives us the eight. That sets everything off. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. So now you are the five. Good. Fours, eights, and the nine here says you are the seven, you are the three, the nine. Yeah, that's going to break it all open. Okay, again, just had to find the right place to look. So you are the two, you're the six, thank you. You are not a one, two. You, two, six, nine. Okay, just have to reorient myself here on some of these guys. You're not a two ever. I guess we could have done that previously too. Didn't we have these two seven pairs and I just wasn't paying enough attention there. Uh, but anyway, this can't be a one, which means you are the one, which means you're not a one. You're not a one. Yeah, I think we probably could have gotten a couple of those other guys in a slightly different way, but it is what it is. We got there eventually. All right, let's um, maybe think about you because we have the most information going in that direction, and I don't quite see anything that's cutting across just yet. Um, one, two is possible. Two, three is not. Three, four is not. Four, five is. Maybe we need to put these in. Four, five. Those are the only options. So you're not five. You're not four. You're not one. You're not two. The one, three, yeah, it does cut over. This is our five, which means this is our four. Okay. And these two have to be what? One and something. And the one goes here. The two goes here. Yep, there it is. Seven, six, two, three, four, three. You are the five. That's going to correlate back over to six, seven, two, And what? You're not a two, so you are a seven. Let's go there first. I think we end up with a one, three pair. Wait, I missed an option here somewhere. What am I missing? Six. This is a six. Oh, yeah, I just removed that accidentally. That was the six. This was the one, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That forces the three, which is forcing the two. That forces the seven and the six. Now, I know we had other stuff cutting across, right? Two, four, or did we? No, maybe we have to just get into this guy. Because he has to be from six, seven, and eight. You're not six, you're not seven. In fact, one of these two has to be a seven, so you're not. You're the eight, you're the six, you're the seven. So the eight comes across, gives us our four and our eight. Seven, nine, six, two. We can put these guys in and we probably have some correlation back to them then. These have to be four and nine. Okay. These have to be eight and three. Four, nine, this. Man, they're actually not telling me a whole lot. What are you two? Two. That's something. This is a two and this is a five. That okay, we'll probably just have to get into these guys next or the six here. Actually, that's the two six, that's a one three nine seven. Okay, good. These guys have to be what one three and eight. Eh, one three eight. You're not three, you're not one. 
Okay. Yeah, we still have options there. So let's get over to here, I think. Mm, maybe not. This isn't the greatest either. That's a 9-1 or a 7 three. No, okay. I don't think that does that. Is there something here we can work with? Or is there some Sudoku that I'm just gapping on at the moment? Let's try this first. Can't be 1, 2, 2, 3. Could it be a 3, 4? The answer is no, because we'd break all of this stuff. Can't be 4, 5, 5, 6. So this is from the 6, 7, and 8, and it has to have a 7 again, so you are the 7. That forces the 9 and the 1, which forces the 4 and the 3, and the 9 and the 8. This is... 6 and 8, and we can say that's the 8, that's the 6. Perfect. That gives us the 4 and the 8. Now we can keep rolling. You are the 3, you are the 7. You guys are, f well, a 1 of them has to be a 1, and you can't put a 1 here, so this is our 1, and these are going to be the 4, 5 pair. You are the 4, you are the 5. Perfect. Let's move on. 2 and 5, we can do it. 2, 5. We're going to get these guys, and that's going to break the rest of this apart. I'm sure of it. These are 9 and 4. We can just do that. 9, 4, 8, 3, 1, 3. That's going to get us our 8 and our 1 to finish. There we go. You saw the puzzle solution is correct. Uh, fun puzzle, yeah. Um, like I think I said previously, it's not necessarily going to be a lot of difficulty in this one, but it was a nice jump into the thought processes about how these guys can all work together and then what correlations it puts on to or restrictions it puts on to other areas and cells. So very fun puzzle. Really enjoyed that one. Nice little easy kind of uh, <laughs> enjoying puzzle. So I really love this one. Hope you all did as well. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.